Hey, what is up, everybody? On this impromptu stream. <laughs> I know I'm not usually here, uh, but I had to. And the other video is coming Wednesday. I know you guys want it. It's happening. But wow, with that being said, what? Welcome back. A nice piece of cake and how <laughs> this treat. <laughs> and what a treat it is. Oh, I am feeling great. I am feeling great tonight, guys. People are getting exposed and people are coming back when I said they would. And I'm just laying back going, mm hmm, mm hmm. I said that, mm hmm. <laughs> it's great. But welcome back, folks. Welcome back to the crypt. Wow. Have you guys, did you guys see that? I'll tell you what happened. I was at the supermarket and i saw like a like a thing from twitch and i'm like is that shanny like nah not nah, three weeks just exactly the day when i said oh thank you crash um but yeah exactly the day when i said i mean i said it could be a, a month it could be th uh th three weeks because i'll tell you what was it was told to me i asked some mandated people that work with cps if this happened to somebody and they were uh they had a channel and they got in trouble for abuse and stuff like that what would happen and they said well they would give them suggestions guidelines and one suggestion would be to get off the internet for like at least three weeks maybe more more is better but at least three weeks Two, to get a friggin' job. And three, to probably kick that guy's Rev's ass to the curb. Because, you know what? They're never going to allow them back if he's there. If she had a job right now, came back, and, and she said, I, I got a job, and Rev's gone, I think that would help. But didn't I say that she was going to come back with some bull crap? Yeah, I know. No justice. I know. And she's trying to say, she's going to say people, and I know I'm one of them, uh, I also did something in my little rumors that I don't know. I, I'm sure some of you understand and maybe some don't. I, I poked the pig. I poked and parodied the pig knowing that she was going to respond. And then what happened? Three weeks to the day, I got <laughs> coming at me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I told the class to unplug for me. Yeah, exactly. Because, and like I said, these are just guidelines, suggestions. Nothing is a guarantee. But with everything with reunification, um, I knew, I knew it because I've done this before and I will do it again. And will it work again? Probably. She's on this, oh, I'm going to do no commentary videos. I've seen this before last year. It lasted hmm, a week and a half, two weeks. And like I said, I think it's really, really funny. But with all that being said, like the stream, folks, thanks for being here. And just like I said, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to be out. Just a little impromptu thing because, you know, here at Draven's Crypt, I really try to give you guys, you know, the uh, the skinny on what's happening. You know, like, you know, the uh, the details and when they came back and she just came back today. Just like I said, and here we go. Thank you all for being here. Ah, uh, it's been a while. Let's see. Starting <laughs> soon. Uh, the hot goss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Why is this ASMR? That's really weird. You thought I was in rehab. Nah, I said that would have been a good suggestion for you to go to rehab. A rumor. Number one. Number two, you were gone three weeks to the day. You could have done five days in rehab. And number three, marijuana, and I will say this again, marijuana does not make you lose your teeth. Okay? <laughs> I just really want to throw that out there. Marijuana will not let you lose your teeth. So I don't know what she was on. But if she was on something to make those teeth go away, I think it would be a good suggestion for her to go in there. But like, I, I, I just can't believe. No, I got a job. I have a job now because I need to. She's never going to get these, these kids back. I've gotten those <laughs> messages. What was the other fucking rumor? 
that 30 days in rehab would be very beneficial to your boy's situation. So you yeah, get, but there was another rumor. Uh, yeah, I said that. What that of it? The oh, I, the other rumor was um, I wasn't online because <laughs> no, I was no, told no. by CPS to not be online. Yeah, something that's also bullshit. All right, well, again, trying to help your dumbass. And I'll say this, this is the truth. I did send her an email like about a week and a half ago. And I'm like, you really need to either get a job or kick that guy's ass to the curb because he's never going to, uh, you're never gonna get them back if you want them back. And I also said that you should probably go to rehab because she obviously needs it for whatever is going on with her ass. But yeah, so I did say that, and then I did make these videos, and I and I have said some rumors, knowing that I was going to poke her enough to come back <laughs> and make a video like this. No, the reason why I haven't been online is because I can't stand the internet. All right, then why are you here? I, 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 I'll just be honest. I love that. I'll just be honest. I can't stand the internet. Then why are you here? Why are you doing this? This makes no sense. I poked you, right, Shani? I'm sure I'm, I'm not going to take all the credit, but I, I poked you a little bit, huh? I poked you, and you, know, you had to come back. You won't say my name. It's kind of funny. I know she's talking about me. I know the other person, the female, the alleged female that she's talking about. But other than that, um, if some other people have been trying to get her address, I'm not about that. I don't want to go near them or smell them. <laughs> I don't need to get anyone's at her address, especially hers. So please no one do that, you know, guidelines and all, but, uh, yeah, I do not want this person's address. Uh, I'm, I, 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 I lost interest in the internet. Hey Carrie, what's up? I was pushed away by my haters. But I thought, since, you know, there are some people that are like, are you alive? Are you okay? Uh, Health-wise, no. I'm in distress. <laughs> um, distress. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, do I have a home I go to every day? Yes. Right. Do, do, do I have a life outside of YouTube? Absolutely. No. Or Twitch or the internet or Instagram, whatever. Absolutely. Gosh, I was just living life. <gasps> oh. 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Oh, I lied about that. <laughs> I made her say that. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie donated $5 through Super Chat. Thanks for this little update. Black Heart. Oh, yes, Aries. You can have any foods you want. What kind of foods you need? And don't don't worry. Anyone, I will, I'll make sure Shani gets some of this money. Yes. All I'm saying is, if anybody gives money or a care package to this woman, after she they see their I Need Foods video, they're allowing the abuse to happen, in my opinion, of course, because she really needs to either get a job, go to a food pantry, or get on some sort of public assistance. Yes, Prime Mover. Crash Cooter Coot has just donated $20 through Super Chat. Has she gotten bigger? <laughs> Thanks, Crash. She looks like, I, right? I mean, look, look. She don't, she looks horrible. Like, really, talk about not sleeping. So here, um, so I'm going to play. Like, what, did, Shani, did you, did you get a job? Uh, like, tell me about the new job you have to get your kids back. Or, you know, the other work you're doing. Maybe you're, you're you know, uh. I don't know, passing out blankets to the poor. What, what has Shani been doing? I'll be honest. I, I got bored with the internet. And I was just playing Stardew Valley and just enjoying life. Really? That's it? So you just been playing video games all day? <laughs> video games, people. You, How dare you ever call yourself a mother? Sitting there with that piece of crap right next to you that kicked your kid. Because that's in the police um, report. Or is that a lie too? Kick that kid. You're sitting there playing video games with him. I mean, if you don't want to work Shani, then make Rev work. Okay? There's free advice to you. Make him work. Or kick him out if you don't really want to work. You cannot have that guy with you. 
And if I really need to tell you that, then you're a lot more stupid than I thought you were. Either kick him out or get yourself a job. How about both you work? This way, because I think you guys are around too much. You're around each other too much. And you, if you really think CPS, just let them come back and you just to do this, whatever this is, you don't even get paid for it. It's going to happen again. Maybe worse. And like, I'm just being real serious. It's a real serious dream in here right now. Worse will happen that Rev will do if you don't change your ways. Like seriously, this is just, I mean, think of the trajectory. It hasn't even been a year since Rev threatened to beat his ass when you were on the highway. And look what happened. He got pissed off. You guys got ran on the train tracks and uh, Rev blew a tire. <laughs> but seriously, man, like I don't understand this woman. She saw that he threatened him and then he actually did the threat. So what do you think is going to happen next, Shane? Just, just saying. What do you think is going to happen next? Really should kick him out and watching beavis and butthead on paramount plus <laughs> and of course and you were. just and, and watching star trek and watching the new twilight zone i recommend that Th that is a fun oh yeah nor me neither me neither you know i'm just trying to be as fair as possible and be like if she actually did want them back these are the things you know the the, the suggestions like i said there's no proof or there's no this is going to get them back automatically. It's just suggestions. It makes her case look better. And that's what this is all about. This is not about you do this, you get them back. These are just suggestive suggestions to help her. And I think in her case, if Rev was not living there and she was working a like a full-time job right now, it would look better. But she ain't. She ain't going to do it because I don't want those kids back there either. Same shit will happen phenomenal show and i love like the social um commentary on the whole thing it's very beautiful how they're <laughs> trying to make peace between blacks and whites hey, and everything. Sorry, too, sir. um and, and but they keep it in the original twilight zone like style i i fucking love that i yep, I, I, I we've been watching deep space nine Jason obviously loves the Ferengis the most. I knew he would, because they're like Trump. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is oh, oh. Trump. Love it. But at the same time, I also love Sean Sean Wallace hey, because right. Inconceivable, and I watched that movie Inconceivable on Tubi. Don't watch it. It's fucking dumb. But so, like, where are you getting all the money to uh, get 2V and Paramount Plus? You just mentioned Beavis and Butthead more than once. Uh, that costs money, right? Monthly, right? Uh, who's giving you money? Someone's sending you money? Yeah. Maybe some piece of crap is sending you money to allow the abuse just to keep going. They don't give a shit. Like, hey, ain't my kids, right? Haha. <laughs> Anything for content, maybe get an interview with you. Or are you just living at somebody else's house? And again, if she has nothing, why are you wasting money on Paramount Plus and 2V and all this other stuff? You should really be trying to better yourself. But I mean, that's right. Who am I talking to here? But anyway, <laughs> um, I, I, I watched Pet Cemetery. I've just been watching movies and just enjoying life. Right. I, I'll just be honest. Because I just, I, I see toxic city everywhere. Everyone's trying to cause drama. And... Yeah, like, yo, she don't want toxic city. She's done. She wants to live in happy city, peace city, fat city. She don't need the toxic city, people. <laughs> Arguments and shit. And it's Hashtag like, toxic city. <laughs> I'm all about the peace. I'm all about the zen and, and trying to stay tranquil as I possibly can in life. And may I say, I have the two greatest boys ever. Wow. My sons are just perfect, and I, I am so glad that I raised them in such a wonderful way. You mean like not showing them how to uh, go to the bathroom? How to not potty train them? And shit, the one's almost like 14? You kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? So that's what you're going to do. Like, I was a good mother. I raised my kids and we're fine. You're fine. Everything is fine. And the, the cats are fine. Like, no one's asking. <laughs> we want to know what you're doing to better yourself. Not everything's fine. And I raised my kids good. No, you didn't. 
You didn't. Because if you did, you would have had them. Right? You know, they're awesome. I These love two them drunks to death. always land on their um, feet, right? <laughs> watermelon, she's she's still a queen. Gavin, he's still a king. He's still a Kit Kats. Jason is fucking chill as fuck. No, he's not. Fight. He's an asshole. Um, yeah, everything's been good. G yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Do you guys actually think they haven't fought this whole time? Oh, here, her, her, uh, sim for G man. Man has been a peach. Cause he, you're letting him, um, he's letting you stay there. Everything has been good. Yeah. So I, I don't know. All those rumors you're hearing, don't believe them. These people don't know me. They're not in my life. They don't have the in as they think they do. Um, like, and I'm just laughing at the stupidity because oh. they couldn't be any further wrong about how my life is. It's actually... All right, I am so wrong. Shani, I know a lot more than you think. I just... Don't let on to it, but I know a lot. People tell me things. People live by you. So, yeah, I, I know a lot. But I like to poke you and prod you <laughs> to have you come out here and be like... Because <laughs> I think it's funny. I, I do. I mean, now that those kids don't have to be there and deal with your abuse and your squalor, they don't have to watch you guys just like sit there and be useless garbage waste of life it's funny to watch you uh squirm but seriously in all suggestions you should get a job and you should probably shower before you go to the job interview going pretty good actually i'm oh, very they definitely blessed fought. obviously i'm blessed she's blessed you know but but health wise i, I i'm in distress you know i <laughs> i i it, it's it it's hard weight to get appointments to be close together you know they're always three months six months eight months apart uh j just like what you got what you said about the stock market a pandemic happened moron <laughs> do you really think you're gonna go just like walk in and like get your drug pills like the same day no you're gonna have to wait <laughs> stupid ass <laughs> And it, it, it can be damaging to someone who is as sick as I am. But it, that's just how the world is right now. I'm not getting any more personal than that. Because I don't think I have to. I don't have to answer to people about my own life. And, and neither do you. Um, you know, just do you. <laughs> and, and be All right. Uh, I'm sorry. No, Justice. I mean, I mean her, her medications for her, uh, you know, her, her rickets and her osteoarthritis and her BPD and all that. Yeah, nothing because she's obese and just wants to get high. Just 100% medicational, medicinal things. And G-Man gets her, you know, Delta A too. Happy. And, <laughs> like the stream. <laughs> and, and just enjoy whatever you have in life because that's all you can do. You know, you can be miserable and somber and, and just mope and complain. You, you could do that, but that's not <laughs> going to make you happy. Be content is, is what I'm essentially saying is to be content. And that's what I am, is content in everything. God, you have given up how the mighty have fallen. And that's why I've been showing your videos your older videos on my channel just to show everyone you haven't changed i knew you were gonna come back this month i knew i knew you were gonna try to hit that twitch goal and try to get in there so you can get some videos that no one's gonna watch because if you're not talking like, no one's gonna watch them just fyi but i knew you were gonna come back and then you come back and it's more of this am i surprised no she's done this before a big old nothing burger, a big old, well, I haven't done anything. And don't listen to the rumors. It's all hate. It's all the haters. You know what? If anyone has to always say haters, then they can't take criticism. And they're a, a narcissist. Extreme narcissist. In my opinion, of course. Because I know I won at the end of the day. You know, my sons, right, they Ave. love me amazingly. <laughs> We're like best friends. You know, we're closer than we ever have been. So I, I don't. 
Wow. I don't know. Wow. Do you just hear that? The kids are not with her right now. And she is a quote unquote, Shinny's words, closer than they've ever been. They were used to be in the next room. And you're telling me you, you, you avoided them that much that when they're not even in the house, they're, you're closer with them than you've ever been. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> like straight up. I don't up. know what people are doing. I just get these little messages sometimes and it's like, oh, I Ugh. don't want, I don't want to look at them. I don't like, I think my last straw was like this girl wrote mm -hmm. me something like, something really personal and it would i don't even know who this person is but they were trying they said let me help you i can help you in your life and just talking about all these things that are so wrong in they're so wrong yo i wonder who that person was though folks <laughs> i mean i can only speculate but i seriously wonder who that person was that she's talking about right here if you guys want to write in the chat i ain't gonna say anything because i try to stay out of things but uh i wonder <laughs> when people start coming to me saying that they're sorry and they're not in that person's a uh camp anymore and then i hear other things and then now shane's just like this crazy woman's like all this i can help you i can give you money and a care package and this and that all you gotta do is just have an interview with me i really wonder who this is my life and it's just like fuck this internet <laughs> shit i can enjoy myself watching a fucking movie or or playing stardew valley or animal crossing or something like that i agree I don't need the internet i don't i can live completely and amazingly happy yeah i can't like as in group you know what i mean community you know without the internet and I'm proud of that, that I, I can get into that, that mode <laughs> of, of being content without the internet. Cause I, I just, and, and no, it's not. And like, if you didn't want the smoke then you shouldn't have recorded or reported Rev doing this, if you never would have said nothing, nobody would have known. Do you realize that? Right? Like you tell people when people get arrested in your life and what they do and then they look into it further and find out but if you never would make that report or if you never would have said something online you know to get your money to you know because you did uh monetize when rev was uh funny, right you did it for the donos and then said racial slurs at the end if you never would have done that we never would have known so you only have yourself to blame not because I didn't have the internet. I, I did have the internet. I just chose not to go on it. Yeah, sure. I chose to use the internet in a positive way and enjoy my life, you know? It it, it was nice. It's nice. It's nice not being oh, bothered cool. What's up? by thousands of voices trying to destroy you for some fucking reason. Yeah, um... Sorry, Shani. A lot of people online. Do I know where they are? Oh, oh, the kids. The kids are still with the foster mom, and apparently, allegedly, the she's having trouble with them going to the bathroom because Shani never taught them how to properly go to the bathroom. She never taught them how to, you know, potty train. That just went right past her, which is awful. But uh, okay, so what was she saying? Never done anything to these people. Oh, oh, that's right. Shani, people online, uh, people online don't like child abuse. You know, like they really don't like child abuse. So don't talk about it or show it. And maybe that's why you won't get all this smoke, huh? You know, they just hear a rumor and then go off like psychos. It's like you, you showed the video. That is like misplaced hey, anger. Like something's going on in your life, and you're thinking you can put it on on me. I'm not Jesus. Well, <laughs> I'm not Jesus. Yeah, no, no shit. Thank God. Yeah, you're not. She, she's not uh, her uh, her right hand man because she's sandal fawn and she's touched by the Lord and all that crazy shit. Can you believe this? So she's going to use Jesus to uh, shield her from child abuse. 
Great, Shani. Tell me more. Go to Jesus if you want to put all your troubles on someone. Don't put it on me. Because I'm a sensitive little Kit Kat. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sensitive. I don't I don't like hate. <laughs> I don't like drama. Then why I do like you, being happy. Why I are like you always in it? Things that are cute and sweet and kind. <laughs> Kindness. Why does she say it like that? Kind. I think that's something that people have lost in their soul, you know, is kindness. And, um... You gotta fix that about yourselves. You gotta fix that about yourselves. Like, take a break off the internet and fix it. Wow. Isn't this incredible? It is incredible to me. It's fascinating that some people will take will do the worst ever, record it, try to get money from it, and then get mad when people ask them about, you know, what are you doing with that CPS case? What are you doing with this? Oh, mind your own business. Are you a chomo? Are you this to that? No, it just you showed us and then you're like gone for like a month. And then you come back, just like I said, and you're like, I wasn't anywhere. Yeah. Well, you should have, you know what? Any places you should have went to was the damn dentist. <laughs> just realize this is some misplaced anger and, and just like take a break and, and, and realize no where that is coming from because uh, I, I know I shouldn't be hated. I know that because I'm about love. Okay. Maybe there were times where I got a act, uh, angry and I reacted poorly, but through they're living at a, at a foster mom's house. Through therapy, I really learned how not to react. Court mandated therapy. <laughs> and that's a beautiful thing is learning how not to react. It's a beautiful thing because if you're reactionary, oh nope, he's right to there. People, if you're reactionary to people, people aren't going to take you well. You know? It's not good to do to someone. But to love someone, to cherish someone. Okay, again, I wish you would have said stuff like this when you had that money. When you were in Colorado and we were peasants for drinking water because you have Pepsi or whatever the hell. What, what was this nice person then? Or when your kids asked you for food or, you, or they banged on the door and you said filming in progress or, or Heat Rev said filming in progress or you threatened to beat his ass to, to, to shut the F up. Remember that, Shannon? You nude your mic? I do. Pepperidge Farm remembers. There's videos on it. <laughs> you know, that was the time that you could have been nice and chilled out and all this bullshit that you're trying to spew now. Didn't I say that she was going to do this? It's just so funny. Two days later, you do exactly what I said you would. Exactly. To, to actually care about someone, that's everything. To love someone unconditionally. Yes, that's right, that Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Thanks. Because you show your true nature when you do that. You show that you are love. Or you could continue to push people away and call them names and make fun of them for for situations and exploit others and yeah because i was gonna say don't you dare say situations that you didn't put yourself in you want to get out of this situation the fact uh what's it called anger management anything so you really think you can just get them back with nothing you don't want them back right you, you don't want you, you gave up right fuck it let someone else deal with it probably for the best but don't come here and pretend like you're doing all you can to get them back because it's really easy to tell Rev to get get the hell out. Like seriously, if you're just at G-Man's house, tell Rev to leave. And, and, and try to pretend you're a good person. Or you could just put it in action to be a good person. And yeah, right, Carrie? And bother people and, and, and treat people with love and respect. I, I learned that the very hard way. I, I think hey, Ann, what's up? That. You know, I have thoroughly been broken. I've thoroughly been humbled. And Dude, brothers. all it does is make me grateful 
about my sons and and the thing uh, you you're broken and that makes you grateful about your sons rev kicked your son in, in the ribs and that makes you grateful about your sons what the hell are you talking about do you guys think she actually watches her own videos and be like wow that really came off really stupid yeah instead of being grateful he did that i probably should have clotheslined him like when he wanted to get a baja blast but i guess the kids are less important than a stupid baja blast right shani things i actually care about right no justice um so it, it's like I, I i just haven't been consumed with negativity at all hey chris and may i say go to tubi because there are so many nicholas cage movies out there and that is amazing okay <laughs> nicholas uh, i'm telling you i i i understand the people who have the nicholas cage pillows okay uh just for anyone new here shani is 90 percent high when she makes videos so sometimes she'll go off on tangents and she'll forget her topic and then she'll remember and then she'll talk about tv and nicholas cage again because that's really where her mind is she could give a shit about those kids or any of this stuff she just knows she needs to talk about it because you know facts <laughs> i i understand that thoroughly i mean every movie is TV interesting television. <laughs> and, and they're all different but it's Nicolas Cage the whole time in all these different situations and scenarios. Hey, Raccoon. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love Nick Cage. Snake Eyes is a great movie. Yes, it is. What? All Nick Cage movies. She's right great. there. Yeah, they are. Vampire's Kiss. That that's must see. And even that newer one, Hayden Christensen movie. Yeah, I love like how the money have fallen. Hey, who's the peasant drinking water now, right? Who's the peasant drinking water now? She's the peasant. <laughs> oh, that is so great. I love that picture. Yeah, no more diet soda for you or diet Dr. Pepper. What was it? Outlaw or something? Yeah. That was far, that was great. Yeah, performance. It was acting. phenomenal. It was really good. Yeah, outcast, I think that's what it's called. But I want everyone to know that I'm okay and you don't like please stop listening to these stupid channels they don't know <laughs> right. what's going on in my life and they're further from the truth <laughs> than anything and again i only said i gave some suggestions some rumors but i said for sure you'd be back in the time you exactly came back and you would come back with some bull crap of where you been and this and that just like you did so if i don't know anything then i must be psychic or something they're further from the truth you know i just don't want to be on the internet and i i then why I are you here i have the right to not want to be on the internet when i you know don't want to be on the internet you know that i don't want to do that's slavery oh my god they probably would nuke us they'd be like the are these the, are these the uh, humans they're, they're, they're awful people. They don't even take care of their own kids. <laughs> and I'm nobody's. I'm a free bird, and I will always be a free bird. Hey, Taylor, if you what's put up? me in jail or chain me up, I don't care. Now, can I ask something for the record of evidence? What? Yeah. Yeah. And I get off the internet, and they still can't stop talking about me. It's pathetic. You were doing a bad thing. Uh, like, we where, where's the look? There, oh. there we go. Like, seriously. Grow mm. the fuck up. It's, 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 it's beyond pathetic. And I am smoking some lovely Marvel 100s. If anything, if I'm addicted to something, it's this. I, I can't help it. Yes. I'm I, yeah, it's stress, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> life is stressful, and and I'm doing the best I can to get through life, like it or not. You know, you can't you can't will <laughs> right? someone out of existence. 
I wasn't trying to will you out of existence. And I'm sure everyone else wasn't either. We were just reporting on the, the, the gross stuff you've done and the stuff that you've done on the internet this whole time. You put it up here. You are definitely a public figure by now. So like, if you never wanted to do that, and if you don't like it, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. I exist. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm here, I'm queer, get used to it. Oh, here we go. Because, to be honest, I, I, I just... I don't like men. Yeah? You don't like men? Oh, uh, because what about that boy right next to you? And just hold on a second, folks. I just want to show a video. I recently did a member's stream. And what's funny is right here what she says about females i just want to go to sleep that's all i wanted was to go to sleep 341 code 4 code 5. you know no i'm gonna be up all night and be stuck in a room full of fucking weird chicks i don't want to be full of weird chicks okay so she thinks uh women uh, in jail are quote unquote weird chicks so it's kind of funny that uh you know, she just said that she, uh, she, she don't like men. She likes women. So, which is it? I'm not sexually attracted to them. <laughs> okay. Except him. Is he's a because he's a boy, right? But you that's sure? because, but yeah, that's because you've been mostly nice to me. Okay. Right. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'm fucked up too. Yeah. We all are fucked up in this <laughs> world. <laughs> Sure. But you're very forgiving. I know. And I appreciate You're too forgiving. You're too you're, you're too forgiving, Shani. Okay? That was actually a big diss against you. You're forgiving, yeah. Because you because the fact that you didn't leave Rev after what he did, he will do worse, guarantee it. That's what this is. It's a stepping stone, you dummy. Don't you don't you know anything about the human condition? <laughs> I know, I don't give up on people. They give up on me. Yeah, there's a difference. Well, that's... well, I don't know. There are certain people who won't give up on me because they. Have... All right, maybe you should give up on people that beat your kids. I don't know. Just a thought. I don't know. It's just a shot in the dark there. But maybe you should. Maybe you should be like, I need to uh, kick this guy to the curb. I mean, shit. Live with G-Man. I'm sure he'll be okay with it. And kick Rev the hell out. They haven't grown the fuck up and decided. Oh, I'm gonna be an adult today. And mind my own P's and Q's. Do you know what that means? I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bill Hicksian. Extremely like Bill Hicks. Or has so many people have told me, not every thought should be publicized. That's why reaction channels are so bad. Because every thought, they, they assume it's true. And it's like what no that's why real people real youtubers should say words like allegedly my opinion in minecraft stuff like that this is a rumor take it with a grainest of salt you know there's a there's a reason why we say that because it's not a hundred percent i was hearing a lot of rumors about you this past what month i mean a lot and I did not talk about half of them. I gave out some rumors that I heard, but I said I didn't have anything concrete yet. But what I knew for sure is that you were going to come back and you were going to give us a sob bullshit story. And that is what happened. What? 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 <laughs> no. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> So, did you all hear that Anthony Fauci is stepping down? Uh, what does that have to do with what you're talking about? Oh, <laughs> Let me talk he about Fauci. He the whole world, and then he's like, I'm retiring. Later, guys. You little fucking demon. Okay, what about, what about Rev over there right next to you? He's cool, right? Yeah. He didn't do anything wrong to me. <laughs> you little fucking demon. That's all I'm going to say about that. You said enough. <laughs> he played both sides. Both sides. Ooh, I hate people like that. 
I can't stand right? people like that. Because they have no integrity. She'll never change. Yes, that should be the word today. Integrity. Most people on the internet have no integrity. I'm going to fucking keep mine. <laughs> I'm going to be true to my motherfucking self. All right. You know, it looks like you really need a lot of therapy. And more than court-appointed. Like, you really need to find a decent therapist. Not some cheap ass therapist that's going to be paid by the court something to really get inside that thick skull and find out why you're co-signing rev why you are not telling him he needs to not be near you why you're not mad at him at all because oh he wasn't on their medication he would he doesn't take anything that would just make him be violent for no reason so like really you really need to get to terms with what happened because i think you're just I don't know, in denial, heavy denial, snowballing right now, you know, trying to throw everything back at everybody. Amen. Oh, yeah. But it's all, it's all crap because it's a distraction, you know what I mean, Penelope? She doesn't want to talk about what happened to her. She wants to talk about anything else. No bullshit with me. I'm going to be true to myself, but I've learned to keep my fucking privacy Hey, Grace, Private, what's up? because nobody needs to fucking know about it. I give you two weeks. <laughs> you got that. No you... more clues or anything from you people. Are you going to ever see this green fucking screen? Because I can't stand that. Like I you, you said the same thing over a year ago when you were at that house and you were uh getting you know showing your naked body at people and you know what shandy i never asked for that you showed me your naked body and i did not want to see it that is sexual harassment and i will not be harassed i can play this game too but she said the same thing you were just gonna see this green screen this dirty green screen behind me and you ain't gonna see that my dirty ass house or that we're not washing you know what i can just tell by how you look right now you ain't washing remember when it first happened they were asking everything about what's in my background because it was weird stuff it was so weird and, and then to find out these people were literally tracking down where i lived all right i did not do that nutcases you probably can see some of them in the fucking chat trying to lure me into saying where i am it's not hard to figure out, Shani, okay? It's not hard to figure out. You know G-Man and Rev's uncle, and that's really it. Like, where, where'd you go? I'm at some hidden bunker somewhere. You guys will never find me. <laughs> Give me a break. It's none of your fucking business where I am. I am where I am. I'm on Twitch right now. That's where I fucking am. <laughs> She's on Twitch. I was <laughs> off the internet. I was watching these no commentary Stardew Valleys, and they are lovely. She's and you're going to so see high. a lot of that coming from me. Is no commentary Stardew Valley. Just something for someone to chill and relax. Because you really need to see my fucking farm. It is organized. It is gorgeous. It you know what? I've seen her farm. It is organized and gorgeous. We're, we're talking about Kiwi farms, right? It is put together... <laughs> maybe i fix little tweaks here and there just so it like is more like more built like a business because i'm right. making fucking bank and let me tell you those fucking gem berries are amazing i'm cultivating them right now yeah right she's at rock bottom them, <laughs> and then i sell them and then i make bank <laughs> i like that i like making bank. thanks dude I like being able to be paid. Oh, you got your return scepter. What? Yeah, That's I got awesome. my return scepter. That was two million. Two million, and I earned that. And if people don't know how hard it is to frickin' earn Stardew Valley, you you don't know. Play the game. I recommend it. I'm not calling and show you that. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's ex yeah, I'm that's, that's exactly what I was just thinking. What the hell? Imagine losing your kids to care about a stupid game. You know what? You guys really need to like 
throw those kids like into a dumpster somewhere and pick up Stardew Valley and then get you can get a scepter and that's like two million scepter gems. Yeah, you don't know what you're missing with the kids and the and the family gatherings and the vacation. Yeah, go go throw the kids away and play Stardew Valley. <laughs> You are fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. You can't even write this. You can't even this is real. This is not this is real. This is real, folks. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, I gotta throw another one in there. Right? <laughs> this is real. What is wrong with her? Oh my god. <laughs> I want to buy a scepter. <laughs> Fuck my kids. You, you want to see my scepter? Oh, wait. I first had to give you a link to, to, my, to Stardew Valley. You can see it digitally through there. Kids, yeah, what, what's that? I don't have to feed a scepter. <laughs> they're so, like, they're children, folks. They're children. Maybe you'll learn how to be a better person because you'll see these scenarios of how to be a good person, or maybe you'll just play it as a shit person and not get anywhere in the game. Your choice. But, you know, I, <laughs> I like to play my Stardew Valley nice and sweet yeah. and kind and cute. Oh my God. That's how I like to play my Stardew Valley. I like to do it calming and relaxing, not being bothered, just chilling out. Yeah, she's tucking in her rolls instead of tucking in kids. <laughs> just playing it. Allegedly, whatever. Event. So that's all you're going to see from me is things I like to do and me doing it. That's all you're going to see. Except <laughs> behind the video screen, game. I'm... Fuck you guys. Seriously, trying to track me down? That's stalking. I don't know who did that. Not me. But, you know, you can go believe what these idiots on the internet have to say. <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. But you're believing in a lie. And I thought you guys were so bothered by liars, you would get, oh, I'm listening to liars. But it's taken a, quite a while to realize that you're listening to liars. Making shit up and making an extravagance. Because all they're about is a business right now. All of them are about <laughs> money. They have no integrity. And like I said, no justice. You always gotta be careful here. <laughs> they have no integrity. And if I'm you sure she is. People who have I'm sure she is. Every time she puts those pants on. No integrity. You probably have no integrity either. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Um. Make fun of your audience, Shani. See how well that works for you. Make fun of the people who watch you and give you donos and care packages. Yeah, yeah, keep doing that. No wonder why no one watches your stuff, man. You don't got no, no integrity either if you're going to listen to them. No, they're listening to you. They're listening to you. They, I watch your video, make some dumb jokes, but we are listening to you. These are your words. So nice try. Man. And that's how I fucking see it. That's how I fucking see it. Bite me. Yeah. No. I, 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 Google will come bite out. Me. I exist. And I'm going to exist. <laughs> yeah, you're too big not to. And stronger than I ever have been. Wow. I'm just sick. You get yeah. that? No, no, I get that. You're, you're, you're sick. You're sick in the head. I get it. But again. Mental illness has nothing to do with telling a guy in your life, a boyfriend, not even the father of those kids, a boyfriend, maybe you should take a break from me. Maybe you should get a job. Maybe we're around each other too much. You know, you could talk mental illness all you want, but you don't have to be, a, you know, a whiz kid or, or genius to know that someone's not good for you. Just and your kids, just saying. I'm just sick. Yeah, you are. Oh. Ah, uh, so I'll, I'll just say this about medical. I had salmonella. <laughs> fucking, I got it from fucking. <laughs> Hold on. What, what? What is salmonella? Say that again. I'll, I'll just say this about medical. I had salmonella. <laughs> fucking. I got. It. <laughs> 
<laughs> Salmonella. Yo, man, sue the school you went to. Okay, Shan, you want money? Sue the school you went to. Because you know Tonky very well. Got it from fucking Subway. Salmonella. Awful. It was the shittiest fucking teriyaki sandwich I ever fucking had. <laughs> and we go and tell the manager at Subway, and they're just like, oh, I'll just take that as advice. Whoa. Yo, okay, so let me get this straight. You you stop being on the internet for like a month, and in, instead of asking people for donations and care packages, you went to Subway with Rev, and you try to pull a, I found a hair in my soup. <laughs> you try to get his free Subway sandwich. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine those subway people when she pulled up? Boom, baba, boom, baba. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, batting down the hatches. Here, here she comes, <laughs> shaking the whole store. She comes on in, orders a teriyaki sandwich, takes one bite, and goes up to the, the manager and goes, I just got salmonella from your food, so you better give it to me for free. And he says, thanks for the advice. <laughs> Yo, know, Shani, that's not how uh, hair in the soup works, you know? You literally have to show. <laughs> you should have put some glass in the sandwich and made Red take a bite. <laughs> have him go up there all bleeding. He's your, he's your whipping boy, right? <laughs> no, instead she says she had salmonella to try to get try to get that sandwich for free. Guarantee you, folks. And, uh, and then the managers are like, we eat here every day. We don't get sick. <laughs> that's how you're gonna analyze that it, it, there used right? to be a policy in subway if someone complained about that you throw away all the meat right? <laughs> there used to be a thing where you throw away all the meat and me and rev would be outside in the back with uh with lunch bags on our hands because we can't afford gloves and we would grab that said meat out of the garbage can <laughs> I know what you were trying to do, Shani, and they were hip to it. They're like, nah, we see these people waiting in the dumpster. I think they were. <laughs> oh, God, folks. That is that is great. She was, she was waiting by the dumpster for some teriyaki that never came. Right away. It, they didn't. They broke store policy, but they're managers, <laughs> and it's a franchise so really you can't fucking do anything about it because they fucking own the place <laughs> what but... <laughs> the manager does not own the place what are you talking about i can't do anything because the manager is, owns the place so they won't give me my sandwich for free and they won't throw out that meat that I was going to pick out the dumpster like some animal like I am. <laughs> Allegedly. Don't eat at sub. I don't eat at any fast food. I don't eat at <laughs> fast food no more. Oh my god, bullshit. <laughs> and McDonald's. Don't lie, McDonald's. Pizza's the only fast food I will... I, I, I have... I've never gotten sick from pizza. Maybe a little heartburn, but it's worth it because it's fucking pizza, you know? What? You never gotten burnt pizza before? Yo, go to Domino's. They got like a 50% off sale right now because of burnt pizza. <laughs> I've gotten crap pizza before. Uh, I, I, what else do I have to say? Do you have anything to say? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> so I am alive. I just can't stand the internet. Right. <laughs> But I guess people want to know if I'm alive, so I guess I'll just do my own thing and know I'm alive. It's a franchise, they own it. <laughs> you guys see? She is just full of it. You know what? Funny without being funny is worse than being funny on purpose. <laughs> she has no idea. Whatever. It is what it is. It's it's the only thing I can give left is that. Cause I just I just don't care as much as I used to. <laughs> right, this woman is worried about salmonella. And she doesn't shower and brush your teeth. Please don't make that make sense. I, I'm sorry, Carrie. I can't. 
<laughs> that, yeah, that one deserves a clap. That is awesome. <laughs> I think it, I don't understand. Oh my god, I don't understand. Yeah, she makes my ribs hurt. <laughs> I got salmonella from this meat. <laughs> oh, what's that? Why well, I only have two teeth? <laughs> don't worry about that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna gum this sandwich anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit essentially the haters won they got what they wanted oh god narcissist and i'm cool with it because you know i'm living life like the 90s <laughs> what and i enjoy that shit you should watch. You get Paramount Plus and watch Beavis and Buttheads. <laughs> Here she goes again. <laughs> yeah, I asked uh, Paramount Plus if I could be a spokesperson for them, and they were like, uh, "How'd you guys number? <laughs> Go away. You're fat." Seriously, <laughs> Mike Judge still has the magic. He still has the magic, and it's just—it's simple, it's stupid, but it's just. <laughs> I can't not justice. She she and writes the I, jokes. I just I, say them. I love every episode that comes out every week, and I, I I thank you, Mike Judge. We needed you. We needed you again. We needed Beavis and Butthead again because it puts us back in a time where things were good and happy. Because let's just be honest, the Clinton years were really fucking good for Americans. And you didn't get sick at Subway. Yeah, you didn't get sick at Subway. People took pride in their fucking jobs. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you go get a job? And then you'll feel that pride. <laughs> but yeah, I miss in the 90s when you could say, this sandwich gave me salmonella, and they would just throw it away. And I would just take the garbage can with me. Back then, you could just take it right out of the can. No one even look at you. I can't stand this 2022 now. <laughs> Nobody takes pride in their job. They're all pissy and assholey. <laughs> she was four pounds later. I hate how right? America has become selfish, greedy, <laughs> out for themselves people with absolutely no filter on them and no customer service experience at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to see this. I want to see a video or a, a, a security cam of Shani and Reb going into this subway and them having to talk to them. And Shani's telling, trying to convince this guy to throw the shit away so Reb can grab it out of the dumpster because she just got salmonella. <laughs> no customer service at all. It was so wrong. I've also been drinking a lot of water. Because that's all you have. Ha ha. <laughs> Poor ass. So that's how I've been doing. I'm okay. I'm good. Peace and Maranatha. Be good to yourself. <laughs> Be good to others. And stay away from drama. It's <laughs> bad vodka. for your mental health. I... <laughs> that's all I can give you. Bye. It doesn't. Oh god, that is too good. <laughs> Face, she really thinks she told somebody. She really thinks that she just oh oh my god oh oh how am I going to survive? Shani told me she got me this time, folks. I don't know how I'm going to survive. Shani just blew up my spot. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so dumb, man. Like, really, she is, she's, uh, she's on another planet here. But I love that face. Like, I just told you. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, God, don't kiss me. <laughs> but on that note, guys, thank you for hanging out. This was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I, I, I watched, like, some of it before, but I didn't watch all of it. I wanted to do an, an actual live reaction with you guys, but... Um, I will be live this Wednesday, so um, no justice, you will get your video. <laughs> I know you want to see it. So I will be doing that Wednesday night, and that's it. Guys, thank you for hanging out. <laughs> that was just, that was just, that was just, oh my God. Chef's kiss right there. <laughs>
but yeah thanks guys oh you will be all right you know what i will i'll check you out then celebrity so everyone go go watch her she going live she 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 works hard but yeah so guys thank you for this and or for hanging out and i will see you on wednesday have a good one <laughs> yeah i'm telling you that was so freaking funny <laughs> but uh that's it guys have a good one